Hello there, and welcome to today's league match. I'm playing here against John T. Grizz. Um, this will be my third match of the season. This looks like... This looks like a pretty big engine. Probably it's going to three pile. I'm going to open Lurker Treasure. Can get Alchemist without picking up a potion. Um. There's lots of triumph points to be had, but probably somebody's going to get out ahead on the King's Court Lurker stuff and just be close to uncatchable, I would guess. But we'll see. I don't like the banquet. I think there's good enough trashers here. I don't know. I, don't, I almost never buy banquet, but I'm not a fan here. Um, at all. Ooh, I dislike this opening. Hopefully, they get bad draws for it too. But the temple with two extra coppers. I I really hate this. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put. I mean, there's some risk here. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to put a King's Court in the trash. There's certainly some risk, but they're f much further away from playing a Lurker than I am. Um... They do get decent enough temp. Well, they must have prepared the temple with at least two estates, so that actually wasn't that helpful to them. Um, this would be a band, I think. It could be. You can do Honey Lodger Minion. Band has the upside of being a, a lurker copy in a pinch. Um. If they drew the band in the one card, I would have screamed. They did draw the treasure, but if they had drawn the band in, in the single card, I would have actually lost my mind. Um, okay, they just buy King's Court. Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's actually not a lot of good stuff to do with the band here. There's not really anything good to do with the band here. Um, we could carpenter for a carpenter or something, but that doesn't feel that good. Oh, I know what we can do. We should get a second. I do have a second lurker. I guess I could get a third lurker.
this is obviously sad, but it's kind of what I have to do anyway. <laughs> like I don't have, I don't really have options here. Um, I do the honey lodgers is nice. My shuffles here not been super good. I do have a points lead also, which is nice here. Just because we can three pile before people get really great shots at the. Um. This is probably relatively safe. Actually, let's put, I have enough king's courts. I should probably put in another honey lodge. It's either that or alchemist. But I definitely need some draw now. I still have the key. I mean, I can get a five here. It's probably worth doing. Even though it, you know, we don't get to do a trash. I mean, I guess we should discard right off rip. Um, this is not super great either. It does. I probably need some alchemists. Um, I mean, there's more stuff down in there. Maybe we just keep it because it's, like, relatively clean. Hmm. I'm not sure this is correct by any stretch. We're certainly approaching point where three pile can happen. I don't know. They're not that clean, frankly. Um,
There's some worlds where I guess they get the draw to do it before me, but it should be pretty tough. Um, I can do one of these and just see where we're at. Uh, I don't remember what my last card is, to be honest. Um, I only have to play Lurker eight times, not even eight times, seven times, realistically. So we could, we can probably, I'm going to King the Hunting Lodge, but we can probably pile out here. Um, yeah. I hated the banquet. You just don't have to do it there. It's not like treasure is that good. Temple, just, just open Temple Lurker. I'm having this thing that I have every single match I play. Where I disconnect at the end of games, which is really annoying. Um, I went first, right? I think. That will probably never ever be fixed. <laughs> Realistically. All right, so we have here, we have a nice little kingdom. A li little bit village limited, to be honest, but otherwise, some nice stuff. Actually, it's going to be kind of tough without the, without another pile of villages or some non, non terminal payload stuff. I don't know, because Sadri model, I mean, you, I don't know, Silvery model. I don't really like the workshop that much. I think you can just remodel for the menstrual, I mean, I don't know. There's there's draws where if you get the workshop it splits m nicely for you, but there's also draws where it goes quite badly. And the workshop isn't that great later on. Five two is actually not great here. I don't like the council room. Um. Also now my graphics are all messed up. Um, this is quite bad. I guess I just don't play it. Um, since we need to, we need to pair this with a menstrual. Um, oh, 
I don't even have in buys button. Very good, very good website. Excellent work all around. Um, this is probably going to be quite bad as well. <clears throat> Unfortunately. Um, because we're not going to have the estate. We could draw an estate, but. I guess we could, if we find the sage, if we collide sage and remodel, we can remodel it. Which we are going to do. I mean, these are our last two cards. I mean, it, obviously they're going for the legionary stuff, which is quite nice. Um, and, you know, perfectly reasonable thing to do. I'm going to need... Because we can try to hit the. We'll see if they draw minstrels if they're ready to just hit it. I probably shouldn't have played that last one. That may have been really bad. Um. We have to get to six. Yeah, this was bad shuffle. I shouldn't have played this last minstrel. I was not thinking. So I deserve this dud, unfortunately. I mean, I could have easily not dud it. I have a lot of minstrels, but... Um, unfortunately, I do sort of deserve this particular bit of misfortune. <clears throat> See if they draw the gold. I was going to say, they may not draw the gold yet. It's not like... This should just be double menstrual quite easily for them, I think. Um, I actually don't think it's particularly close. Anything else like that? You can go back for the trashers and stuff, but the menstruals are going to run out. Um, so, you need... Need something along those lines. I guess this can either be like Sage Legionary, something like that. Um, so we can draw the silver now. Well, it's going to draw Menstrual. We have a menstrual on top. We have the... We have the... Well, we can also trigger shuffle with it in there. Mm. Let's get the silver. We could win 7-3 this split. Now we won't have a way. Well, that's not exactly true. I was hoping to get to 10, but that wasn't real. That wasn't actually possible. Um...
This is also quite, can be a quite long game. Should be for like research or bishop. They actually don't have the action, so bishop is a little harder. It's funny, they could have still whiffed the gold. It was possible. I don't know what this single copper stuff is about, but whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what that's for. Ooh. Well, this will probably get me there, but it is a little weird. Um, wow. Well. This is quite nice. Um, I don't know if this is correct, but it's quite nice. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for Bishop Hunting Grounds. They're probably going to make the stuff here, but... This is actually pretty bad opening hand for me. Um, but it's workable still. So we can afford one more draw card. Which will probably be hunting grounds. Just to open up remodel a little bit. They can mill provinces, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't score them points, so it's probably still worth doing from this position. But it's not uh, super clear.
At least we draw a copper. That's nice. Um, I mean, this is kind of what we have to do, even though we may just draw another menstrual. Yeah. Well, I see they can't even play the remodel. Um, I'm going to just kind of keep going along as long as they're not able to play the remodel. Like if they have to play these four terminals and they're just doing single province, I'm pretty okay with it. They may pick up a research. I don't know. Um, and now, of course, I'm going to put them into menstrual. Um, menstrual, whatever each turn, but. They did, okay, they did draw an estate off their thing, so that they get something. Um, what do we have here? Ten, thirteen. <clears throat> I guess we could. Well, where are we? I'm trying to figure out. <clears throat> Holy cow. Oh, they got a nice draw. This is incredibly bad. The legionary here will be friendly. Um, this is still incredibly bad. I don't deserve this. <laughs> I have six villages and four smithy variants i have trashed some no estates i have i literally have a I have two golds i had two golds six estates so some stop i mean these guys are stop cards of course but i literally drew every single what an incredibly impossible draw It's so infuriating. I don't even know if I'm actually lost, but it's still infuriating. Especially if they kick off here, I'll scream.
I won't scream, of course, you know that. But I'll be very mad. <laughs> if they if their deck runs with no council room plays. Yeah, that's probably correct. I don't know if it's gonna do anything for them. Or do enough for them. Um I don't have triple, so I'm going to just single on my turn, probably buy another Hunting Grounds. Um. I guess we can just play these. Okay, so I have um one, two, three, four, five, five, nine, eleven, seventeen. I don't think there's a remodel play that helps particularly. All right, we win. Hooray for us. I don't even know the sages. Okay, yeah, there's still that. So you just can't draw anything, but that's okay. Um, okay. Can't get in. Don't know. Really awesome. I'm probably just, I don't know. Unfortunately, I have lots of months on my subscription. Otherwise, I would just cancel it. Or I would not renew it, I mean. I don't I don't know what to say. I can try a different browser maybe.
Let me see what Chrome does. Well, I don't know. Well, here I'm in. Finally got in on Chrome, but that's not where I have my OBS set up. So that's a pain. Um, let me see if I can add a window. Uh, how do I do this? Well, this isn't. Uh, don't. Uh, well, how do I do this? I never. Let me see. Let me see. to turn Firefox off, okay. And then how do I adjust this to do? There's like a way to drag, there we go. Okay, well this is a little slightly scuffed still. Um, to be sure. But hopefully, sufficiently. Oh, good. You've reconnected to this game two times. Excellent. Really great. Okay, Trapper's Lodge, when you gain a card, you may spend a favor. Okay, so we get to top deck five things. If someone has the five two. Could be a little scary. Is there anything really nice to top deck? I mean, Importer is usually pretty nice to top deck. At the start of the game. Um, you could try to fight the witch with the race, I guess, alone, but with multiple raises and like honey lodge stuff not impossible so there's no extra by here the only extra stuff we have is um dutchy gaining from importer which is you know 
completely reasonable, reasonable source of alt VP here. I guess you go with two importers just right off rip. Why not? And then I guess here I'll do a raise Sea Witch on top. We could do You can get the I mean what what John T. Grizz is gonna be able to do is they'll be able to play the um Sea Witch first, though they're gonna be Slightly behind on the importer plays. Um, we could do a village, is not crazy, though. I don't think I'm going to. Well, it's not, it's super not crazy. We're gonna need some eventually, but. Guess I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> I could top deck it. So we're going to gain another Sea Witch, not top deck it, and then hopefully buy a village. Well, we guaranteed to be able to buy a village and top deck the village. I mean, I guess we can top deck this. No, that's the timing of that won't make sense. And then there's going to be possibilities for drawing an importer and a Sea Witch dead off one card. Um, which hopefully does not happen, but I am going to put this on top because we're going to hit this and we're going to hit the other importer, which is nice. <clears throat> So they're a bit ahead on the trashing. We're going to be a bit ahead on most other things. Um, I wonder if we just put an estate in there. I guess, well, I guess that makes sense. We may draw the rays and have not great targets for it, but or we may draw the raise and have great targets for it. Okay. So get to play the importer. Um <clears throat> there's gonna be a fair bit of value here in being able to play what did I do last time? There's going to be a good amount of value here to getting another raise and then cycling on hunting lodges. Um, it's not unreasonable to use merchant ship for your money here. I mean, eventually you want to be able to buy provinces. Um... I don't know at what point or if any you get like menageries or guard dogs or there I mean almost everything here can get some use. Okay, we didn't quite get the draw this time, but that's not too surprising. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'm worried. I am a little worried about the trashing situation and, like, if they put together a turn here. Um, definitely worried about that because unless I have Sea Witch on top or Honey Lodge or something, my turn looks a little bit sad because I probably have to play the rays or trash self-trash the rays. Um, so this is quite nice for John T. Grizzier. Like, this is maybe they're winning now. I kind of felt okay, except that I dead the last turn, which was not unlikely, but it happened. <laughs> um, so, like, right now I have an extra curse and an extra estate, and I don't really have um, necessarily much to show for it. This is nice, though. We'll go ahead and do this. Uh, there's another... Oh, I thought there was another Sea Witch. Oh, I can't do that. That was really bad. I convinced myself that there were two Sea Witches down there, but that wasn't true. The other one had missed the shuffle. Um, so, yeah, about that. So, I play none of the durations. I trigger shuffle with three of the villages out. Uh, that was just really poor. And I had here, I think I, when I drew the Sea Witch, I think I still had exactly two cards, so I could have just played the Sea Witch. And, um, it wouldn't have triggered, wow, that was just, that was just the worst, in recent memory, that's one of the worst Dominion clicks I've made. For sure. Like, not even, not even remotely okay. <laughs> So that's a bummer. And they have a really good turn. So we're we're gonna lose. Uh and we're maybe losing anyway. Well I guess they didn't find the sea witch. We were maybe losing anyway. But um it sure would have been now there are two sea witches for sure. Now, whether that makes it worth it to try and trigger, I don't know. This is pretty nice, actually. Um, should we try to play around? I don't really mind playing both the Sea Witches now, to be perfectly honest. If it gets us some cycling. That's not a huge problem to me. Mm, bummer. Oh, bummer, bummer. That's not good. Okay, uh, well, we can at least see this. Before deciding what to... Oof. Don't love this. I guess we could try to rush the duchies and the importers. I mean, it's a legit question. How quickly can somebody get to eight?
Because even if you like lower the honey, I'm surprised they didn't. Well, if they're going to gain duchies, then it makes sense to trigger first, though I'm a little surprised at not putting it. I mean, I don't know what they're getting, but you would imagine and if they're just going duchies, we can do it. I mean, Is it four four? I mean, maybe do they just win this this exchange? Who wins this exchange? <laughs> this battle of importers, if you will. I guess we can see if we even get a turn. Um, un unclear. <laughs> You can also fail once you start doing the duchies, though. Um, I was going to say, if we lower the import, like we go double duchy and gain an importer. That may give us the options. Um, I don't think, like, I guess I don't know. I was gonna say I don't know that the um this is interesting. I could try to do the merchant ship stuff. I don't know if I can hit eight this turn though, which would be important. If we didn't hit eight this turn, it wouldn't necessarily be worth it. But if we hit eight this turn, we're probably okay. Um, on the other hand, we can, we can fight the duchy stuff. I mean, we need to go to like double duchy importer. Um, they get two duchies. Now there's possibility someone can afford to just straight out buy a duchy though it's fairly unlikely um, I don't feel like my draw is actually good enough to hit 8 here unfortunately my draw not, may not be good enough here to hit anything If we buy an importer, then we're trying to play for the next turn, which is kind of tough, but <clears throat> it does give us the threat. Uh, I don't know. This is... pretty weird to me. We didn't get to, okay, here we do get to do this. Um, This may not work out in time, though, now that I'm thinking about it. At least not the way I played it. I mean, I needed to get both the importers down <laughs> for it to really work. And I did not do that. Otherwise, I probably should have just done triple duchy and maybe bought an importer. I mean, they may still fail to draw in some fashion. I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, well, that's not too bad. They played, they, they had nothing. Okay. Well, that changes things considerably. Like, we can lower the duchies now. They're not going to get five, or it's quite unlikely. I can just and then hopefully we have estates to take it. Mm, I mean we're gonna toss this eventually anyway. We really need to prioritize playing the importers, actually, not the sea witch. Um, They could trash curse, which is going to be a problem. They could potentially trash a couple curses. Um, and like buy an estate. I'm surprised they played it that way, but if they had that, then it makes sense. I feel like there's something wrong with my computer and the connection to Dominion that games, but it's still I don't I don't know. This is some something's changed somewhere because um I mean, it didn't used to be like this for me for years, and then it's been consistently like this for me for the past few months, and there were a lot of changes that came around the time of um, plunder. So. And we have a tax board and crop rotation, which is kind of annoying, right? Because crop rotation is probably really good here. It looks pretty good here. Um, there's really not draw, so I'm not sure. I guess you can make map maker draw. <clears throat> it's all a bit. It's all a bit weird, though. I would almost say that like jack of all trades is worth going for, accepting the crop rotation stuff, but maybe you just do it anyway. Um, but again, then you face off against a deck that maybe has a good amount of map makers, and that could be a little scary to try and green against that deck. Um... Corsair looks pretty bad. There's a lot of ways to get money, and even, like, your silver gainer is just... I mean, it's a silver gainer, so... Trashing them isn't a huge deal. The draw is pretty weak, though. Um... The draw ain't strong. I get open double silver. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do that, but. 
Hmm. Could open astrolabes or double astrolabe or something. Patron still seems pretty good, just not really activating it, but it's very weird. Without trashing, I just can't imagine the draw stuff works. But what else? Are, like, what else are you doing? Besides having a bunch of bazaars and junk. Kind of like the Haven by anyway here. With the rest of it, I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. a patron well I'll just take a patron <laughs> that's fine okay we do hit the crop rotation I'm gonna assume they're not quite there I don't really love the bizarre buy well okay I mean it's fine I whiff on actually using crop rotation which sucks but you know these things happen There's going to be another one in there. We just buy an Astrolabe. Maybe next time we have in one of the estates. I'm going to die if the two estates are bottom decked. They probably hit six now. Okay. So it worked out fine for John. Um, in the end. Uh, let's see. I could on it. Quite honestly, I could buy gold. It's not that crazy, but um, 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 um. we could buy a second astrolabe. Watch this. Here's what it'll do. I just want to buy tax. Honestly, I don't. I'm not really sure that that's any good at all. <laughs> And it's very possible that John can easily just pay five for an astrolabe. <laughs> like their hands probably have that much money in them anyway. So it's, it's pretty immaterial if they decide that they in fact want an astrolabe. But by golly, I bought tax, which suggests I probably should have just bought like a Haven. I don't really think I want three astrolabes. I think three buys is plenty here, but. Um, the next step will be map makers. Um, yeah, like this is this was probably what they were buying anyway, so it wasn't it wasn't super meaningful. But oh, also we whiff another uh, crop rotation, which is so cool. Um, we could get another haven. I don't know.
Oh, no, we don't. Why is I stupid? Oh, I, I trigger the shuffle. I'm stupid. I'm whining for no reason. Story of my life. Uh, yeah, so this is fine. I don't know if we're, I don't, I don't really know who's ahead, but it's all just going, it's just going fine. There may be some sadness in the end of the game about who gets to activate map makers, but that's just the world we're living in. As as they say, and by they I mean me. Okay. We didn't find the map maker or the thing. So we'll just buy a bazaar here. I'll go back for more map makers in a bit, but I probably should have set aside a copper or the haven itself. Unfortunately, they're getting the draws here. Um, I guess fortunately they did tax themselves because you probably ideally want to buy a map maker here. If I had to guess. This is not a very exciting or compelling deck. I can definitely believe that if you just like take money, you go faster here. <laughs> um... This is no good. Um, well, it's actually fine. I would like to play a patron, but I do have the buy plus buy extra plus buy for whatever that's worth maybe nothing maybe a lot I was forced to use a villager last turn that was kind of a bummer They're probably going to go Map Maker Bazaar, if I had to guess, but. I think Province would be pretty bad. Um, should try to get the Havens. I really just want... I really just want to go Map Maker Bazaar also. I guess I could get an Animal Fair. Is that any good? Nobody knows. Certainly, I don't know. So basically, they get to draw a deck. This is pretty good, given the amount of 
whatever we have here. Um, nobody has nobody has that much money I guess I have like one more dollar right now I'm not super likely to play all of it. Mm. I don't... I just don't know about the animal fair. This is going to be... Oh, no, that was okay. I was going to... Oh, my gosh. I'm dying here on some of these draws, though. Okay, that's not actually very good at all. Uh, da, 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 da. This is rough. We bottom deck Bazaar Patron 3 map makers. Those are five of the six cards, and then it's like a copper. No, it's not even a copper. I guess it's an estate, but... That is brutal. Well, um, we could try like bizarre third astrolabe. That is brutal though. I'm so mad. Um, I don't know. I don't. I kind of almost think it should be silver. But. Like, what is this? And the last card I believe is a map maker. I'm not a hundred percent on that, but. I'm pretty sure. Honestly, think you still just go bizarre map maker. I don't think there's any like pressure or rush to. to green. Particularly, you know I have, you know I'm getting basically full stack map makers activated. Probably is going to let me draw a deck. Maybe not, but. Um, there doesn't seem to be, I just don't get it. I don't know. So this last one, I don't want to activate, right? I don't want to trigger the shuffle. Um, I thought that's the whole reason we're buying these cards. I don't want to, I don't want to trigger the shuffle because I want, Um, I 
want these Mac makers to discard. I guess maybe it would have been better to have the other one in there. I don't I don't know. I guess I could have checked on whether I wanted to. Seventeen is not. This is not a super great amount of money. Um, I mean, I'm in the same spot though. They have the animal fair. I didn't get an animal fair, which I maybe. Ought to have figured out a way to do. I probably should have reacted to the last map maker, to be honest. Um, I mean, I can buy the map makers. If I take a haven or that or is that scary? Uh da, 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 da. Eh, six. They don't have gains. They have three buys now, but maybe shouldn't have taken the haven. It's a little up in the air, in my opinion. But That's how it goes. If the game lasts long enough, I should be okay. That's kind of the question. I say that uh, they can probably double here. I'm actually kind of surprised how much they get through with just the four map makers. Well, they've drawn them every turn, so not every turn, but more than me. <laughs> um... I guess they could go like bizarre, bizarre province. I don't know how much money exactly they have. They're at five right now. It means they have seven, 11 more, I believe. So they could do, well, they may not have it all. I don't know exactly what's in hand, but. 18 would be kind, but they could do like province bazaar haven. Does it say province bazaar bazaar would be okay, but I don't, they don't have that much. Oh, I'm I'm forgetting the patron. So they may have enough to go double bazaar province, which is probably pretty good. Um.
I don't know. Because if I double, if I double, then we're tied. Then they have b b buys to empty, but not. Not the. Then they wouldn't have the points on the havens. This time we can pretty much just play them all. Well, honestly, we probably should have the last time as well. Wait, what? Oh, they double province. I couldn't. Well, I'm just stupid, but. <coughs> um. I mean, if they double again, we're probably just toast. What do we have now? Five, ten. I thought I had 16, 7, 12, well there's two more coppers I guess. Oh, they don't activate. Oh boy. Well, that changes things a little bit. Should we get an animal fair? Because <coughs> they may just not even draw. So I guess in... Oh, why did I haven the map makers that was so stupid I was thinking that was like save and like they would be in my hand that was so dumb oh my gosh I mean it's reasonable to haven one of them but I don't I don't know why I did that like that that was so bad I shouldn't have even played them once I had the coppers I should have used them as my animal fair targets and then well, like one estate, and then, well, no, I knew there was an estate. Ah, I don't know. I mean, I'm in a kind of a tough position anyway, but that was obviously really stupid. <coughs> I only have $20, so I didn't really, like, open up a bunch of different threat, but... Single province is pretty scary for John. And then, um, I mean, they don't know that I completely was an idiot. <laughs> so, uh, that, that certainly changes things a little bit. Oh my gosh. I mean, maybe it's still enough to like filter through to the, to what I need in the end, but. Um, very, very stupid. The worst havens I've ever played. I made two, I won that one game where I made the terrible click, but I made two just terrible, terrible clicks this match. Um, though I'll be honest, I don't know if there's a worse click than the banquet, but. Yeah, this all becomes kind of hard, right? Because I don't know where their map makers are now. They're pretty... Uh, maybe they're doing the same thing I did. <laughs> to be honest. They could potentially be messing this up. Um, so they're getting... This is not an... Yeah, now they have... They do have triple. 
which is good for them. <laughs> not not particularly good for me, but um, they do have triple. I could also. <clears throat> I could also add to triple. Um, though I don't know kind of what the best way to go about doing that is. I don't think there's like an estate pile out or anything. It becomes a little bit weird when you don't Like double is clearly not safe for me. So I should probably fall on the capital stuff. I don't know that anyone's ever going to actually draw a triple. Um, John T. Grizz, I guess, has the advantage in that he can... I don't know how we want to do this shuffle trigger either they probably want to avoid it <coughs> and say so John T. Grizz can probably what is down in here now there's like a bizarre one two three four this is all the map maker so there's no map maker in here so we probably want to at least play the um yeah this is this is gonna be Oh, what? Sorry, I picked the wrong. <laughs> I picked the. I did the opposite, as they say. Um. Okay, we can set a bizarre aside. I mean, someone can also tax a bunch, too. That's the other thing. Actually, John could have maybe done that. Like, province, like if you, like, single province and tax a whole bunch. I didn't think about that. Now, they have enough money to make it now. But that's something John could have certainly considered. Tax could still come into things. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's interesting. Or a little bit interesting. Because Is there anything I can do with it? I mean, I can put three dead on there, or six dead on there, which makes the, th the whole thing cost um, 22 to do it, but they have 22. Now, I don't know that they're guaranteed to draw the 22. Um... is the thing Okay, what are their buys? They have an astrolabe, they have the tra animal fair, 
And then the cattle. So they're at five buys now. So I can't lower the havens. Um, I'm at like seven buys. I have three astrolabes, the animal fair, and the cow. No, I'm at like nine buys or something. Um, Mm, no, no map makers. So, um, not so scary. Not so scary. <clears throat> this is a pretty fun kingdom. I don't know. Sometimes this kind of player interaction stuff gets a little grating, but this is pretty fun between the map maker and the tax and stuff. Um, if there were better trashing, probably one person would just be a lot further ahead. But <clears throat> as it is, we kind of have different. Like he has this points lead, I have the draw advantage, but I'm not actually drawing all that well. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, they may just get to the triple province. Like I have to play, I could have taxed the provinces, but then I don't have enough money to do it. I don't know. Maybe that was a mistake. Um, I can, I could easily believe that. <clears throat> Um, I guess I could attack the provinces up to the point where if I draw a deck with the capitals and stuff, I still get there. Um, the estate pilot is also like a thing maybe for me, or maybe could have been a thing. I don't think it's going to be a thing at this point, but... <clears throat> They're not just like auto playing stuff like they clearly have the money in hand. So maybe they don't have the money in hand. Um, <clears throat> I could still potentially draw quite a few number of cards and and definitely with the map makers filter to the good ones though it's hard if you reveal four good ones too so but it's not not trivial I mean, it's be counting. It's got, I mean, it feels like okay. Well, they don't have that. <clears throat> it's kind of sad because I think if I have a map maker in hand. Um, 21, what would I need <clears throat> to win? Um, 18 points, 18 to tie. So it'd be like four duchies province. So yeah, I mean, I technically have that, do I? I had 20 and I added 12, so I do technically have that. Um, 
and I could draw it all if I had had any map makers, but I don't. Which, it's a big messy deck. It's not weird. It's unfortunate, but it's not that weird. Um, they might as well just tax the provinces. I don't think that actually changes all, mu all that much, the calculation or the likelihood of me getting whatever thing, but... If I play, let's say I play like four of the map makers off reaction here, I think I probably win. Um, oh yeah, I don't even have, I don't even get crop rotation. So, um, this is, I mean, I just have to play, I mean, I need to play the astrolabe at least. Um, I mean, I have to play to th some sort of dud. They're not going to green for me, though. So maybe I need to take duchies and hope they don't have map maker and hope they dud. Um... That's a possibility. Um, I mean, I can also just wait. They're foreign, like if they're dudding, they're foreign debt. These are my bazaars, but there are a lot of map makers down in here. I play the capital, I take two duchy. Well, if I'm going to take one duchy, I might as well take two, so. Well, okay, nobody, nobody reacts. That's something. Um, I could tax the provinces. I don't know if that makes sense for me, because it, I think I just have to play to see if they don't get twelve dollars. I don't know what they havened. This is unfortunate. I wonder if a tax would have. Oh, no, okay, no. <laughs> I'm reacting with every. I, don't, I only get one off this too. That's funny. I still don't get a. Um, I still don't crop rotation either on this turn. That's insane. Those were actually an insane last reshuffle of how bad it was. Almost impossibly bad. There, where we're gonna have to. Um, Two crop rotation free hands, and then uh, the um, the map makers were all hiding too. Cool, 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 cool website. What an absolute! I'm I'm totally over Dominion dot games. I'm just over electronic dominion implementations in general but at least the other one is a little younger it's more forgiveness um this is just nasty like there's just no two ways about it this is just gross through and through so let's I guess let's get down in the muck This is like build and then try and play monuments <laughs> or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's plenty of draw. There's plenty of draw and buy. 
or not plenty of buy, but there is buy. Draw a village, buy. Lots of attacks. Not very good trashing. So patient makes us log this stuff now. I wonder if we bonfire here. Uh, it's like, sure. If we hit the potion, then we get the familiar. Otherwise, we'll get, we'll take a skulk at some point. Um, we're going to need, you don't want to bonfire too much because like you don't have any money. You need to be able to buy a skulk at least once. So you can't. Like, I would have bought the Skulk there. If I had four here, I would buy the Skulk, but... Because um, now you, you, can, you can just easily... Win. Like, this is not a bonfire. <laughs> like, this is not... It has to be a silver. Um... We could trash the potion out. I mean, if you had four there, I, I really hate this bonfire, but the, the $4 bonfire for John. I think you can do Skulk or Monument is okay. And maybe I'll do Monument, I'm not sure. Um... But this is like, I, I probably even bonfired too much. Like this is not the board to do it. You're gonna have the curses and then you're just stuck. Stuck in sadness. I might bonfire if I draw a cop copper and trash the copper in a potion, but even that is pretty questionable. <laughs> I don't know if, if they are thinking or if I've disconnected again. It seems like maybe I've disconnected again. No, I guess not. All right, I'm going to be right. Okay, there they went. You have to buy a silver there. <laughs> like you, there's no options. There's no other option. Okay, so this can be... Uh, could be number of things it could be haunted woods it could be tormentor um, the tormentor attack doesn't mean so much with the amount of curses everybody has but maybe take the haunted woods if they don't get to play two familiars here the split is very very bad for John The split is just very, very bad for John. The bond that I took too many bonfires at, and I think their four dollar bonfire was just not not workable. You just can't do it there. Um, and I think I should have taken more silvers, but um, okay. So this is like I don't know. I mean, it's still a still going to be a vineyard board I don't think that's really it's not frigate hurts some um, but you can kind of still move through everything I guess 
still what scores way more than the provinces. There's too many cantrips here. Too many cheap cheap action cards. The buy is a little awkward. That's that's the main problem is that the buy is kind of bad. But um not a bad card, of course, but it's not a great source of buy for this particular deck. Um the strain of the we get another bonfire board. I don't really love that. This is um let's let's do it this way. Actually, let's do it. So this isn't super great, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> if we found another state there, that would have been totally fine. But we didn't, so there you go. Um, This is either banned or like frigate. I mean, at some point you have to take it. Kind of need ports as well. They're a little clearer than me. The bonfire <coughs> worked out. For sure. Um, this isn't a huge deal. Two ports. Um, buying the raise doesn't really help us at this point. Um, We're not so far behind that we're out of it or anything. <clears throat> um, we have two stewards, which is nice. We have we have other pieces that we need at the moment. They're just like a turn ahead on the attacking, or two turns, I guess, two turns ahead on the attacking. And a um, fair bit ahead on the trashing. So they've trashed six. I just trashed two coppers. I do have a lot of coppers still, which is not good. I need to go port band of misfits here, something like that. I guess if you're thinking I'm like doing bad on the trashing, you can get a swamp bag. Yeah. That's that's reasonable. Um, I don't know if it's going to really turn out in the way that they would kind of want it to, but
Honestly, my frigate is pretty pointless too. I also wasn't paying attention there. I probably could have played one of these frigates out of hand earlier. I don't think it would really have affected my buys particularly, but... Um, I should have thought about it. We're not drawing the actions. Okay. Well, this... Okay. Um I'm not super worried about the curses. Maybe I should be. If we have enough stewards, we can handle them even under frigate attack. May even be slightly helpful, but probably the trashing differential here is going to be an issue. I don't know at what point they go for the vineyard. I mean, you should really fight a little bit on the ports and the stewards, or the ports and the bands, or whatever piles you want to do. Um, because the ports are nice. No, I'm not really sure. Okay, well, if I draw like this, there's no, there's no hope for the world. Which okay, this was all right. <laughs> all right. Um, I don't know. They may have disconnected as well. So. All right, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you all another time.